Hey guys, so I'm back here to give you guys a little bit more advanced of a guide on this one. We're going to add a game to the hyper list. So you're going to want to go to your hyper list and find the system you want to add to. So for this example, we're going to use the PSP. Follow this along, go to the XML and download it. So I have it already, right? I have multiple copies of it already. Okay. So you find a game you want to add. So you copy it over. That's all you need to do. So let's see. Let's use the game Kidu Senchi. This was one I had to add in okay you're gonna take it within these copy and paste it inside of one of these like between these two tags so if you'll notice uh, you can close all these and then here, boom, I have this one, the pasted in one. So this file name here is going to be the name of every file you're going to associate with this game. So since it's exactly what it shows up in this list, HyperSync should be able to pick it up and sync it. So that means point, you know, your hypersync to your S drive or whatever you mounted your shield to hyperspin and then your shield drive hyperspin media so for your download folder you want it in the media once you've done that and uh, if it's the first time doing it I don't know you might want to close it reopen it I don't know if that if it's you know needs to reload that stuff but uh, configure everything, go into individual systems, make sure all of that's clicked on. You have all of the um, systems that are live in the in the build enabled in your individual system settings. And uh, as long as you're pointing to your shield when you sync, it should begin. Boom, it'll find it and it'll download it. But in my case, it didn't sync. It didn't download these files, so I had to add in the media, right? So now that you're looking for the media files, um, so here we have Kidu Senshi. I'm doing a search for that in the images. Most of the time, you can just hit Tools, Color, Transparent, and you're going to get, boom, uh, the uh, wheel art is what you call it the wheel art is you know typically the the thing you're gonna need to find right so all you need to do in most cases is just put it to transparent it's super easy that way but this one obviously you can see it is not here it is not here at all where is it right so I had to keep looking for it yada 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 eventually I found it get the images wheel key do senshi okay so now i have my wheel art i dragged it in here i made sure it was named after a png and i named it exactly the name that the rom is named inside of our database so now that i've pasted this into the database on the shield i need to make sure everything is matching this bracket here the the name within the quotations now, as long as you name everything exactly the same as in the XML, you can put whatever game, I mean, media in as it'll associate with it. So, you know, let's say if you had artwork in artwork 4 or 3, you would also want to paste it in with the same exact name, right? Then in video do the same thing paste it in with the exact same name but this one's mp4 format 
Okay, so that's a .264 file. And all I did was I exported that uh, from Premiere Pro. So, you know, you're going to need your video editing programs and you're going to need uh, some way of editing the PNG file or converting it online. Finding There's tons of tools online to do that. So if you get a .webp sometimes, you, you'll find on Google. If you get a .webp, there's online converters for that. .webp to PNG, you're going to want. And uh, for JPEG, same thing. JPEG to PNG. And typically, JPEG, you're going to have the problem with it doesn't have a transparency layer. So you're going to need to make that transparency layer. So it's a lot of work adding in games and making the custom media. But the main idea is that you need to name them exactly the same with the name from the ROM list, copy paste it right into the other files, boom, 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 make all your files the same exact name, and then it'll all point to this ROM, Kidu Senshi Gundam Seed Rengoku versus Zaft, okay? So, uh, you know, as far as this one, I just found a short YouTube video online, uh, or it was actually a really long YouTube video, and uh, I found some gameplay of the game. And uh, I cut the gameplay up, I chopped it to a little clip, and then I saved that in a .264, and it made me a little MP4 video, and I was able to just drop that into the video file. So then once you're done with that, you're good to go. Uh, you have the new media into the media folder, your ROM, you want to put it into the system that corresponds. So boom, here would it be. Kudu Senshi. And then your database file needs to be saved once you add the new file to it. Okay. So here is the added um, game. So hopefully that helps you guys get through that. I know it was a little bit more intimidating for me when I first started using this and uh, how it's set up. But now that I understand it, it's much simpler to add and edit than I originally thought. And hopefully you guys give it a chance. I know it was a little intimidating to start doing hypersync at first. And uh, now that I am using it, it's definitely worth the effort. So uh, I'll see you next time.